Barry Humphreys, the comedian best known for his character Dame Edna, has died aged 89. The Australian Prime Minister has taken to Twitter to pay tribute to Humphreys, calling him one of a kind and gifted. Hello, welcome to the programme. I'm Lewis Vaughan-Jones. We're going to start with the news out of Australia that the comedian Barry Humphreys, best known for his uh, character, his comedy creation, Dame Edna Everidge, has died at the age of 89. He'd been uh, receiving treatment at a hospital in Sydney after hip surgery. Barry Humphreys was a, a leading figure on the British comedy scene with his many satirical characters. His family said he never lost his brilliant mind and unique wit. Our arts correspondent, David Silito, looks back at his life. Dame Edna Everidge! Hello, Potter! Dame Edna always said she was born with a priceless gift, the ability to laugh at the misfortunes of others. I am weightless, and if you could do with losing a little, success has gone to your jowls, Russell Harty. Oh, you're being <laughs> very, very cruel. <laughs> For more than 50 years, she took pleasure in saying the unsayable. I've had a little work done, but Have you? not quite as much as some of us. Don't let him even say that. your eyes up, wait. No, but the thing is, you are still recognisable. That's oh, what no. I like. She was so familiar, it was easy to forget that behind the glasses and frocks was a man called Barry Humphreys. Oh, one of the big clocks they've got out. He arrived in Britain in 1959, an Australian comedian with a devilish delight in satirising the people he'd grown up with. Most of us who go to England try to get rid of our Australian accents if we can, because we've always felt, with our accents, rather inferior, you see, to our English cousins. As indeed we are. <laughs> The real Barry Humphreys was an art lover, a painter, a collector of rare books. Polite, a loyal friend, the opposite of another of his characters. And I have the honour to be the Australian cultural attaché. <laughs> How are you, sir, sir John? Uh, Les Patterson. Barry? Today. Uh, but he and Celeste did have one thing in common, drink. It took a divorce and a spell in hospital to convince him to give up the booze in 1971. I had such a wonderful trip overseas, you know. But throughout his life, he always had Edna. From her beginnings as a mousy parody of the suburban Melbourne values he'd escaped... Still, I dare say, in a week or so, I will have my Australian accent back again. A little... what is it? A little choker, darling? Yes. <laughs> what, the niche? The niche. To the brash. Housewife superstar. Gorgeous, darling. Did it all come off the one chandelier? Yes. <laughs> it's my nice. Edna. I pride myself on my nice. For many, Edna was so real, so engaging, it was easy to forget that the wit, the charm, the sheer audacity was all down to the brilliant comic mind of a man called Barry Humphreys. I've been draped. Nice to help with you. Comedian Barry Humphreys, who's died at the age of 89. And just a little earlier, I spoke to our correspondent in Sydney, Phil Mercer. Born in Melbourne in 1934, Barry Humphreys was uh, on stage, had a stage career for the best part of 70 years. He got his big break after moving to London and was cast in the original musical Oliver in 1960, but uh, certainly best known for his comic alter egos, Dame Edna Everidge and Celeste Patterson, and news that um, Barry Humphreys has died in a Sydney hospital at the age of 89 will uh, sadden his many, many fans, both here in Australia and overseas. But uh, many of those fans would have been fearing the worst, given the health bulletins we've been receiving in recent days. Uh, Phil, we've just been uh, seeing lots of pictures of him in various different uh, guises. Uh, Dame Edna Everidge, though, the one uh, perhaps most famous for. Yes, he uh, really took the world by storm, didn't he? Barry Humphreys as uh, Dame Edna 
Everidge having uh, audiences with royalty and millions of fans. And I think it's that particular role that uh, will define the life of a man whose career spans so many generations. He was uh, awarded uh, many honours in the world of acting and also in civic society as well. A national treasure, I think, here in Australia. And there will be an enormous amount of sadness that is passing at the age of 89. He was admitted into hospital in February after a fall at his apartment here in Sydney. He was treated at St Vincent's Hospital. And we have heard from his family saying that uh, he was himself until the bitter end, uh, never losing his brilliant mind and also making light of his condition and planning new shows. So uh, that's a measure of the man fighting until the very end. But Barry Humphreys has died here in Sydney. He was 89 years of age. And we started, Phil, just by talking about the length of the career. <laughs> Extraordinary decade after decade after decade. And um, so uh, well known in, 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 obviously, Australia and London. But this is pre-internet pre age, I suppose, for uh, long, long parts of his career. Have we got a sense of how well known he was outside of those two countries? Well, I think people around the world, I think uh, not everyone would have heard of him, of course, but uh, many people would have heard of Dame Edna Everidge or Celeste Patterson, those uh, comic alter egos of his. And when you consider that he was born in the mid-1930s, in between the two world wars, this was a man who was uh, uh, enjoying extreme longevity in, his, in terms of his career during all of those decades, picking up many, many awards and just keeping going. His his appetite for work was enormous and I think that's why perhaps when he was lying in his hospital bed he thought he could keep on going but um, nature has a, a different verdict on that of course uh, Barry Humphreys being admitted for hip surgery in February and uh, conditions arising from that and others were not quite sure of the specifics but he was quite unwell after being admitted for hip surgery at Sydney's St Vincent's Hospital and uh, his family saying, as we previously mentioned, that uh, he was himself until the very end, joking with nurses. And I think that's how many people around the world will remember Barry Humphreys, certainly for those roles as uh, Dame Edna Everidge and others. Thanks to Phil for that. And as a measure of the man, the Australian Prime Minister, uh, Anthony Albanese, has paid tribute to Barry Humphreys, uh, saying a great wit, satirist, writer... An absolute one of a kind who is both gifted and a gift. That just uh, a flavour of some of the tributes coming in. There will be plenty more and we'll bring those to you in a few minutes. Now we're going to go uh, back to our story that we started this programme with tributes still pouring in from right around the world to the Australian comedian Barry Humphreys, best known for his character Dame Edna Everidge. Uh, he's died at the age of 89. Our reporter Naomi Choi-Smith uh, has uh, some of the reactions now. Naomi. Yeah, Lewis, those tributes, as you say, pouring in from around the world, especially in Australia. And we'd only have to look at this Aussie legend Jason Donovan's tweet here saying, Australia has lost one of its greatest. Funny, literate and fiercely intelligent. And posting this picture of Jason Donovan, who, of course, is the neighbour star with uh, the character Dame Edna there. He says Barry Humphreys was quite simply an entertaining genius. And those words echoed really across social media. We have another... Aussie icon there, Danny Minogue tweeting, a legacy of laughter he will leave. Vale Barry Humphreys with a hashtag there. We've even gone into the world um, of politicians, as we were reporting earlier. The Prime Minister of Australia, Anthony Albanese, uh, posted this tribute to Barry Humphreys and the Premier of New South Wales as well, Chris Minns, posting this tribute saying, the all-time most successful solo theatrical performer anywhere in the world. Barry was a legend. Not just in Australia, though, we're also seeing reaction from the UK, including another comedy legend, Ricky Gervais, tweeting, farewell, Barry Humphreys, you comedy genius. So, of course, striking a chord uh, in Australia, in the UK and beyond. Naomi, thank you so much uh, for that. Yes, so many people having their 
uh, memories and reflections on Barry Humphreys, a remarkable career decade after decade uh, on our screens, best known, of course, for his character, Dame Edna Etheridge. I'm Lewis Vaughan-Jones. This is BBC News.